Oh. There it goes again. Darn. Okay. There we go again. Uh, okay, I'm turning my view distance way down. Five. Maybe that'll do it. Okay. Good thing I have Optifine installed. I was just trying to play on this world. 112.2. Because, you know, I just want to come play survival for a little bit, just for nostalgia, really. Because this really was my favorite version of Minecraft, 112.2. Uh, but, well, it, look. Everything seems smooth again. Look. Yeah, okay. Everything seems smooth again. It's kind of weird because, like, at the same time when my FPS started to drop and my computer slowed down, like, the feeling of the world just changed. And I know that's really hard to explain, but it, like, really did. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something looks funny over here. What the? Okay, I didn't do this. Look, some of the trees... Well, they look like they've just been chopped down. I didn't do that. And why is the... Why are the, the grass blocks here just missing? Okay. That's really not creepy. Already I'm seeing signs that something is absolutely not right in this world. You know, I'm not sure yet, but... I might be just barely starting to have a creepypasta experience. They always, they just happen to me. Seriously. Like, why? This is insanity. Oh, well. Maybe nothing will happen. And if that, you know, nothing happens, then I'll just discard this and you'll never see the video. If, if I do start to see things, then obviously you'll know because I'll publish the video. So, I don't know yet, we'll find out. Speaking of creepypasta, in case you didn't know, I actually did publish recently my book, Giant Alex. Um, it's actually my own experience I put in there something long ago. So if you want to go find it, want to read it, sure, you can go ahead. Just go to Amazon, type in Giant Alex Creepypasta book. It'll probably come up, or I'll put the link to it in the description below. You can get to it there. So, anyways. Now, I'm wondering what's going on here in this world. I'll often explore in this distance. I'm not sure. But do you ever get the feeling that you're not really alone in Minecraft? The feeling used to be worse back in the older versions of Minecraft. I'm not kidding. Guys, what? Oh, it's a wolf. Whew. I just saw the sheep suddenly disappear with particles and I didn't see a wolf anywhere. But Oh, there it is. Wolf, you scared me. For a moment, I thought you were a creepypasta. But guess what? It was just a wolf. Okay, well, going back to what I was originally talking about. You see, um, I'm not kidding. If you play, like, the most recent version of Minecraft, you know, you feel quite all right. But go back to the older versions. The, you know, the older, the, the more likely. And just sit there and play, and you will get the feeling that you are not alone in Minecraft. I mean, it's quiet. There's nothing going on. You can just look out into the woods and... You can just tell that something is not right. Now, I wonder if, you know, back then, you know, Notch was kind of like, you know, the head honcho owning Minecraft, right? And Microsoft hadn't gotten involved in yet, all right? So maybe Microsoft went and changed the coding and made it safer. I'm not sure, but when you only got one man developing the whole thing, there's no telling what's actually in the coding that they might have hidden. There's just no telling. And so I'm wondering now, like, seriously... Is there something dangerous back there? And that's part of the problem right now is I'm in 112.2 and some of that feeling is here now. I, I really get the feeling I'm, like I'm not alone. So, well, okay, I'm going to try something here. No more hard. Make it peaceful. That should make it safer, right? I had a friend tell me once that switching Minecraft to peaceful does not make things safer. Something like, you know, okay, bad mobs stop spawning, but it, it just, because there's no more mobs spawning, the bad guys anymore, that it just leaves room for the coding to get in past them, you know, for something much worse to then enter into your world. 
So I'm wondering if I just made a mistake by making it peaceful. Getting dark now. Ooh, I'm scared of the night. Quiet when it's night. Okay, another thing, do not do this, which I'm doing now. Do not play Minecraft by yourself on peaceful with no music. I'm serious. Go into your options and turn on music and just let it play here and there. It'll just relieve your tensions, you know, and... I don't know, I just... I, I've heard that there is a creepypasta that's more likely to appear if you have the music off. I don't know. Hey, sun's going down. Let's sleep. There. Okay. That's my first time sleeping. I actually put that bed down, like, not even, not even, like, half an hour ago. My first time sleeping. Oh, it feels good sleeping again. Oh, it's morning. Thank goodness. Beautiful, beautiful morning. Whoa. Okay, what just happened? My doors were open and I turned my back and they were closed. Nope, still open. Okay, I'm gonna turn my back. Still open. Okay, I think my door's just glitched. That was ex extremely weird. Okay, I'm really getting the feeling again. It gets getting stronger. The feeling like. I'm not alone in this world. And that's ultra creepy. Heard a wolf. Heard a wolf woof. The wolf woofed. I haven't even been down this tunnel yet. That's kind of surprising. Oh, coal, actually. I am going to need more coal. What's more efficient, coal or charcoal? I mean, the burn the same, but coal you just have to mine it. Charcoal you just burn. You guys put that in the comments below. What's more efficient, do you think? Is coal better or is charcoal better? I like both of them, really. I'll just get whatever one I need at the moment, but... You know, everyone has a different opinion, and, you know, some people get really uh, caught up in it. I mean, some people really are strong coal fans and others are strong charcoal fans. I mean, we, we could seriously divide all of Minecraft players in the whole world into two camps just by asking them what's, what, which is better, coal or charcoal. I mean, you could divide it in two just like that. And But, it, you know, my point of view, it doesn't really matter. They're both different and they're both valuable. So I'm going to mine coal just because I see it. And if I need to get some charcoal later, I can do that too. Wait. Wait. Okay, I just sensed something. There's that place that was destroyed earlier. Okay, look, part of it's missing. But there's one, one spruce block up there still. Might as well just mine it while I'm here. Nothing wrong with sp more spruce, right? I need to add on to my house anyways. I need to add a sheep farm. I haven't even done that yet. If the wolves don't kill all the sheep. I need to get some wolf pets too. Wait. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Something's not right. Okay, don't ask me how I know this. But I know. Okay, there's something out there. Shoot. Why is part of that spruce tree missing?
Look. It is. Wait. Okay, this is really weird. Okay, this is ultra creepy. So I, yeah, it's not the spruce. It's not a spruce log block. The leaf on the top has been broken, or it just no wait, or it decayed by itself. Look, it's just a sapling sitting on top. Like it suddenly just decayed for no reason at all. Okay, that is absolutely not normal. Okay. Oh, I'm getting that feeling again. There is something out there. I don't see anything, though. What's that? Is that... That's just another tree. There's something out there. I don't know if I should go explore over there just a little bit, or if I should go back to my house. Back to my mine shaft. Actually, you know what I'm thinking? Okay, there's a cave right there. Right? Okay, cave system right there. And I've got a lot of tree cover. Now, I can hide under the tree, but the, sh the sheer fact that, that one leaf decayed by itself and then the trees over there are missing with grass blocks missing tells me that I'm not, like, completely safe under the trees, but maybe it's harder for me to be spotted. If I need to run back, maybe I can run back to this tunnel. I'll mark it with a torch. Maybe I can... That's not a very good marker. I think I can remember, though. Oh, do not get out in the open. Okay, creepypasta survival skills. Stay out of the open. I'm not kidding. I mean, spruce forests and roof forests may seem really creepy, but they actually may be the difference between life and death. Hide under the trees. Oh, there's another tunnel right there. Except, no, that's a bad one. It's just dirt protecting it. That's a bad tunnel. Water. There's a good tunnel. Mark it. I don't see anything. There's totally something out there. Wait. I'm not sure. I mean, I, I may have seen something out there on that over there, but I may not have. I'm not sure. Okay, creep pasta survival skill number. Th well, another creep pasta survival skill. Look behind you real quick every now and then. They love to sneak up behind you. Nothing. Oh, shoot. It'll be night soon. I know it's peaceful, but it's harder to see at night. Of course, I'm harder to see at night, too. I don't know if that matters, though. I mean, the creepypasta, if it's something that's entered into the coating, and it just knows, you know, or night, maybe making it make it so night doesn't affect it, I don't know. I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, you know what? I'm just heading back home now. Ooh, night. Ooh. I just got that feeling again. Okay. I'm gonna do the F5 thing. Woo! Woo! There's something there! Wait. Where was there? Ooh, I totally thought I saw something big and dark out there. Ooh. Okay. <gasps> Oh, I, I just had a little rush of adrenaline there as soon as I thought I saw something. But I really think there's something there. Okay, I'm, I'm going back home right now. <sighs> I, don't, I don't know if it followed me. Where is, where's some of the torches? Where's home? There. Ooh, there's home. Ooh, there's the menacing moon. Get in the house. Get in the house. Is there something there? I can't tell. It's so dark. 
Okay, I better go to sleep fast. There. Go to sleep, go to sleep, wake up, wake up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gotta go look at go look in the light. Right? It's a tree. No. Still nothing. I could have sworn. I'm in a spot where I'm just not so sure if I want to go find this thing or not. If I really did see something. Okay, you know what? I know this might be foolish, but I'm just going to try it and see what happens. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Stay under the trees. Stay under the trees. Wolves. You seem pretty happy. Hello, wolves. I wish I had some bone, darn it. Now that I'm on peaceful, you know, I might have to switch it back to easy at least. I'm just kind of afraid, though. Like, I just don't want to switch it out of peaceful. forest is getting really creepy now. Mountains. Mountains. You can see pretty high from mountains, but then you're easy to be seen too. So this could be a really bad idea. Is there a way I can sneak up there without being seen? Maybe I'm just really quick. I'm gonna sneak up there just... I'm just gonna run up there as quick as I can and just hope that I don't curse myself. Oops. Good thing I'm peaceful. Not seeing anything. Get to the top over here. Maybe if I hug next to the mountain, I can blend in a little bit. I mean, I'm... No, I don't blend very well. You know, my p pants, I think, give me the way the most. My shirt's red, but it's at least a little bit like the dirt. And against the stone. Man, you know what? This might be a good survival skill tip I've never even thought of. What if you went into a Minecraft game where you knew there was a creepy pasta, but you came back with a texture that just looked like your surroundings, so you were completely camouflaged? Okay? Like if you're a bunch of stone, just take a stone, uh, make a skin with just regular Minecraft stone textures. I wonder if you'd be better off. I wonder if you could survive better. I might have to try that sometime. Here. Okay. Well, I'm not so sure about this. Oh, wait. Ah, yes, that's right. I got Optifine. I can zoom. I need to use that more often. Look at the shadow right there on that block. Just it just looks funny. What's that? What is that? It Oh, that's just stone. But look at the shadow right there. That's what got me. It was extremely dark right there, and I thought there was something there. That's just a shadow. That is just a shadow. Is there something above it? There's something, okay, there's something right there. I can barely see that. Okay, I might be really being stupid now. I'm, I'm up here where I'm easy to see. I just want to see this over here, though. Yeah, what the heck? What's going on there? My world is getting the weirdest glitches. First, I, my computer slows down like mad. Then my door suddenly just closed behind me, and I didn't close them. 
Not getting these weird dark spots that don't shouldn't exist. Uh, oh, oh, there's a oh lava just generated. Got me again. I mean, it just suddenly appeared. And let's not forget those spruce trees and the grass blocks are just missing for no good reason. Doesn't even make any sense. over there hold on hold on hold on what's over there okay spruce trees where I came from is just more mountain and that can't be dangerous right but still I mean I just get this feeling. I don't think I'm alone. I don't think I'm alone up here. I mean, I really feel strongly like I am not alone up here. At all. Ooh. Ooh. I swear I just saw something dark in the fog over there. I swear I did. Can I sneak up? Come around the side. Don't go over the top. Sneak around the side. I swear I just saw something dark over there. Okay, I'm going to sneak down right here. I'm going to go look. Ooh, no, no. Better. Much better. Be right here where I can see underneath. Oh, this is a good place. Don't hold my torch in hand. Here's another survival skill. Let me hit E. Here on your screen, up in the corners, you can actually see further than at the center. So if you look over here where my cursor is, and if I put it to the right, sometimes it, it opens up a little bit more. Not so much. I guess it depends on the distance too. But I'm totally just waiting for a jump scare. I hate jump scares. You're thinking, Ray Savage, aka Ray Gloom, and why are there so many jump scares in your videos? I'm just saying it right here. I hate it when jump scares happen to me. I hate it when they happen to me. I mean, it's funny when it happens to you, right? Or someone else, right? <laughs> it's not funny when it happens to me. It gives me a heart attack. I mean, I don't like that. And Oh, shoot, it's getting dark. Okay, you know what? I'm going home right now. Right now. Get through these trees. Get out of my head. I don't you hate when leaf blocks just appear right in the head where you need to move? I hate that. Get in my house. Get in my house. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed right now. Go to bed. There's a dark figure out there. I swear. And how in the world am I going to see it in the dark? You know what? No, it's too risky. The problem is I'm, I'm a little bit away from spawn because I really wanted to come to a spruce forest. They're my th they're, they're, the taiga is my favorite biome, in case people didn't know. I love taigas. But I really want to pick up a bed and just take it with me so I never have to be out there in the dark. But then I won't spawn back here. Here comes the sun. Okay, here we go again. I just need to know what it is that's here. I mean, if I'm going to publish a video, I need more than just a, a, a few random things happening. And if nothing else happens past this, I'm 50-50 whether or not I'm actually going to publish this video. So I'll just keep the screen recorder going the whole time just in case. But now these tiger trees, these spruce trees, feel like they're in the way. I mean, it is harder for me to see if there's something out there.
Get out of the open. It's almost like I'm wanting to see it. Not entirely, but I mean, it sure be nice to get it on film, whatever it is I've been seeing. If I'm not crazy, I'll review this film later. I, I might just be seeing nothing. I might be crazy this whole time. Hello, sheep. Do I have shears? Yes, I do. I got some wool from you just in case I need it later. Oh, sheep. Besides, the wolves seem to be killing you a lot, and I don't like that. That's why I need to really make a pen for them. Grow my crops some more. I got a boat. Maybe I should go boat around. No, that's not a bad idea. I'm going to go down to the water. And I'm faster in a boat, anyways. Boat. Start from my house. This is a good spot. That was really cool. I haven't even been in here yet. Ooh, this would be a really good safety location for a bunker. I, I just need to turn this into a house. Hey, iron. I don't like the iron as much as the old one, though. I mean, it is nostalgic, but, I mean, I like the iron ore that drops down the newer versions of Minecraft. It's very nice. The lava. I need lava. I don't think I'm going to block that up. Might even actually make into like a lava pool and pretend that it heats my house. It gets cold down in the dark stone, right? Okay, I'm gonna do the FR thing. Nothing there. Oak trees. Oh, I don't have any of that. I do need that. Sometime. Keep that sugar cane. And the water just ends. Ah, it's no fun. Okay, we'll just go back around. Oh, there's more lava up there. Lava flows are actually pretty cool. I really like the old terrain generation. Very nostalgic. A village! Sweet! Okay. What do I need? I need carrots. Ah, I hate stealing. Kind of like replant what I take, you know, then... Everyone's different. I find myself extremely friendly to, to villagers. I mean, I just like to be friendly. I think it's a good attitude to have. So I'm just going to replant what I take then, just to be nice to the villagers. The problem, though, is when you take things out of the chest. I mean, I always feel guilty. And so I have a hard time raiding villages. Let's go find some villagers to trade with. That's the one thing I don't like, is the old trading. New trading is definitely better. Okay, blacksmith. This is where the good stuff is. Ah. Okay, I can always get iron later. I'm leaving this, but this is where I feel guilty. Taking the gold horse armor. Ah, I'm taking it. No one can resist. No one can. But I feel guilty. Ooh, wow, look at this church building right in the right in the side of the mountain. Kind of cool. It's funny, I actually haven't seen the villagers yet. They must be on the other side of the village. Sometimes they do that. They congregate on one side. That's okay. Probably safer that anyway. Anyways, you know. Go there, build around, and keep them safe. It's easier. I like it. Hey, look. It formed right underneath this right here. This is actually pretty cool. Okay, for some reason... I'm feeling a little bit jittery or laggy or something. F3... F no? Look at my FPS. That's, that's actually not too bad. So, that's not too bad. Villagers, where are you? More chests. Here's a nice little house. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm not seeing any villagers. This is kind of weird. Oh, look. Okay, the door's got to be here. No? Oh, no, it's... No, the door is in the front. Is the door down here? Boy, these villages generate so weird sometimes. Hello? Okay, where the heck is the door? Are you stuck in here, villagers? Where's the other... There it is, see? Look at that. Sorry, I didn't mean to break through your house. I'll, I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Where's my cobblestone? And then... Villagers, you can get out this way. You can just come out here and you can get out, villagers. There you go. Villagers. 
villagers? Guys? Where are the villagers? How come I don't see any? Let's come check out these houses right here. Has an Enderman been in here? That door is already open and there's a grass block here. It looks like an Enderman came in here. But Endermen don't kill villagers. What? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Okay, what just happened here? Oh, what? Hold on. Okay, what? What happened here? Look. Part of the house has just been destroyed. What destroyed it? Okay, that's not creepy. Okay, I, hold on, I need to think. Okay, that house looked like it was totally destroyed. I mean, that might make sense if I was like in one of those, you know, zombie villages. You've seen them. But you can always tell you're in a zombie village because there are always cobwebs. You will always find cobwebs. There is not a single one in this village. Something destroyed it. I don't think it generated that way. It just doesn't make sense to me. I mean, there's not even any misplaced grass blocks that I can see. Something destroyed it. Night's coming along. Oh, I need a compass really bad. Oh, it doesn't work. I forget. I'm not near spawn. Shoot. Okay, well, at least I remember the coordinates. I can get back. Okay, there's no way I'm getting back with the night to end. I'm, I'm going to go to bed once I... I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go to bed here, and then I think I can remember my way back to my other base. That's okay. I just... I hate the idea of dying and then not respawning back at my bed, at my base. Where's the bed? This shows you how long it's been since I've played these old versions. There, there weren't any beds in the village. I think that's the newer villages that have beds. It's a good thing I had some my own gray wool I could craft this. So let's go to bed. What? What? But this is... I'm unpeaceful. What the heck? What? Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's peaceful. What the heck? What the heck? Why can I not sleep? It says that there are monsters nearby. Oh, I'm peaceful. I'm unpeaceful. Shoot. I can't end the night. Shoot. I get that feeling stronger than ever that I'm not alone. I mean, why else would it be doing that unless there's something here? This is really creepy. I'm too scared to go home. I think I might just stay in the village until day comes. Wait, 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 wait. Right there. Wait. Hold on. There's something out there in the night. Something out there in the night is lurking. I think it's watching me. I think it knows I'm here or something. There is totally something out there. Wait. Okay, I'm going to do the F5 thing. I'm going to turn my back. Another survival tip. Looking around corners. If you feel too scared to look around corners yourself like this, just hit F5. And you don't have to. Because you can see, I can look around corners without my character being around the corner. This is one way to spot them. I'm not seeing anything. Of course, you can do it like this, too. That's that's easier. Just go like this. F5. If you're thinking F5 is just a, a thing to just make it feel cool because you're in third person, F5 is one of the most wonderful things to survive creepypasta entities in Minecraft. And I, I almost wonder if they planned that. Like, somehow they knew that. Maybe Notch knew that when he when he first made it. Because, I mean, he's the one that came up with the F5 thing. You can go between first and third. Remember... 
the older versions, back when Notch was the only one developing it, is when you feel the most like you're not alone. I think Notch planned that somehow. Somehow. Of course, that's just theory. I might just be making stuff up. That's what I'm thinking. Whoa. I don't know, but right here, I mean, I really thought I saw something up here for just a second, but I'm not sure. I'm going to book it over there. I just gulped. Maybe you didn't hear it. I just gulped because I'm scared. Okay, you know what? I'm going to go up to the in the church. Book it. Into the church. This might be a good place. Okay, do the F5 thing. Come on, just far enough. See, I'm not completely out of the stairs yet, but now I can see with F5. I can see all around me. I don't see anything. Oh, but I can really feel it. There is definitely something out there. There is definitely something out there. Did I open that door? Doors open. I think I did. I'm not so sure. Hang on, I'm gonna go investigate that little house for a second. Nothing here. You know, I, I was just, I was just kind of wondering why the door was open. I don't know. Oh! Did I just see something out there in the darkness? It was so dark it was hard to tell. I swear. Something, okay. I'm sure of it. Something's watching me. Something is watching me. I'm, I'm going back to the church. Back in the church. I actually feel a lot safer here. I don't see anything. I'm going to hit F5. I feel better hitting F5. Looking in my back. Okay. You know, this actually reminds me of something. I'm going to tell a short little story while I look around for this dark this dark thing that's been chasing me or something. Spy on me. I, I don't know. Okay, I actually have this friend, and he told me the story that he was in the survival world playing by himself. And the version was 114 or 115. It was somewhere around there, okay? And... He was just, you know, building his house, and he built his mine shaft. And while he was digging underneath, he broke this block, and then there's this dark cave in the back there. And he told me that in the story, that uh, once he broke that, he heard a whoosh of air. Like in Minecraft, okay, right? I mean, you know the cave sound. Some of them kind of sound like that, but, I mean, he said it sounded different. Like, the cave sound had manipulated somehow to sound like a whoosh of air suddenly came out. Just <laughs> and then he just got instantly this feeling, just like that that he was not alone in that cave. And he started to walk out, and when he turned back, he saw something dark, dark, dark in his cave from one wall to the other, and it just scared him to death. And so he ran out of his cave, and he ran towards his house, and he looked back, and then he saw something actually start to come up towards his door. And it was night, and it was dark, so he was scared to death. So he actually tore part of his wall out and jetted out the other side and started running, and all the while, looking behind him, swearing that he could see a dark figure chasing him, okay? Well, uh, he got to this village he saw, and he went into this village, and he turned around, and he saw for sure something dark, but he could see what looked like eyes and fangs on this character skin of some kind, chasing him in his world. I mean, it's not a server. I mean, he was all by himself, and it looked like a player of some kind was chasing him, something that's totally impossible. So it must have been, well, we don't know what it was, but I mean, I, coding of some kind? I, I don't know. How do you explain that? 
Well, he went into the village and he found a church and he went inside the church and turned around and that's when the thing just darted at him and the door was open and he was too scared, didn't have time to close the door, but the thing stopped right at the church door. So like, if this was the same church, you know, if this if dark thing was chasing me, he said it like stopped right at there and it wouldn't come in. And like at times he would come out of the church and the dark thing would chase him. And he'd come back into the church and it would just stop at the church. Like something stopped it from coming inside the church. Okay? Something kept it out of the church. Now he theorizes what happened is it was like a vampire or something. Okay? And there's this theory going around that church villages are in the Minecraft for a reason. Because so Notch designed these, right? And he put them in Minecraft. I mean, th this is my theory now that Notch had something to do with the creepypastas and he put the church in here not just for aesthetics. I mean, it is literally a protection zone from certain creepypasta entities. I don't know, maybe even from all of them. And that's not something I have verified. Something you can verify yourself, maybe. Churches are safe zones from creepypasta entities. That's probably why they actually exist. And that's why I feel so much better being right here in this church. And this is good because, look, there's the moon. Oh, the sun's about to come out. I don't even know if I want to go home. I might be better just put my bed here in the church. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. What? Okay, hold on. Where did I put my bed? Well, I'm scared to go out. I think it was in that house. Yeah, it was. bed. Well, you know what? My respawn point's there. I don't want to move it. Oh, I do have enough for another bed. Okay, this is better. Leave that bed there in case I die before the next night comes. Because, you know, I might be better off living in this village. Go upstairs. There's that door. Put my bed here. Can I, nope. Too late. I was too late. But, oh, the sun, the sun, I can see again, there is light, oh, it is so much nicer, and I don't see anything, now I'll go explore the boundary, okay, I'm going to go explore the boundary, and if something chases me, I can run back to the church, and that's, that's really not a bad idea. Come out here. When I first was here, I thought I felt like something was out there over there. Oh, there's a taiga. You know, I think my house might be that way. If I go into the taiga and turn that way, I might be able to get back to my house. I don't think I'm that far away. I didn't go very far down the river. So yeah, it should be easy to find my house if I really feel like I need to. Ooh, is that, I, I didn't even get those. Those are beetroots, aren't they? Yeah, I'll take them. You know what, there's the villages are villagers are dead. There's no villagers here. I think they're dead. Might as well just take things, or you know. No sense in saving them now. Is that a hanging oak tree? No. Okay. It's two giant oak trees. I love those for looks. Hate chopping them down, but they're wonderful for looks. And you know how to grow those? Suppose I had an oak sapling, you know, suppose this is an oak sapling. Build that there. Build these right here. And then build that. I think you go like that and then you have to remove the sides or... Well, I remember something about them having to be slabs, okay? I'm hoping I'm not dying while I show you this real quick trick. Okay? You just go like this with any slabs. And then you remove it, the dirt underneath. Like that. And that will force it to grow up as a big oak tree, as I recall. It's that or one more layer up. No, I don't think so. I think it's right there. Okay, never mind. You may not have wanted to know that. Just a fun little trick about trying growing those big oak trees. The real thing I want to do is come over here because at the night, when I was over here, I zoomed right past here. Whoosh! And it was over there. I'm going to close that door so I know if that opens or not. Right there. I saw something. So I'm going to go and investigate it. Just real quick. Let me see. Uh, 
and I'm not seeing anything. Wait. Okay, that's a new one. Whoa. Okay, that's not normal. Look at the hole right there. There's another one. There, there's another one. Oh, look! See? The grass hasn't grown back. I bet it was just barely... Because this barely happened. This just barely happened. Block, 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 block. These are footprints. These are footprints. They're big. Oh... It's all coming together now. I'm not going to say it for a few seconds. Okay, everyone watching this, you should know what makes those. Put it in the comments below right now. You know what Creepypasta Entity makes those tracks. Shoot, I'm going to sneak over here. Where's the next set of footprints? Wait. Something happened here. I can't find any more footprints. It disappeared right next to the roof forest. Like it went in there? Or... Wait, I have an idea. I have a theory. Okay, come back here so it comes this way. From here to here to here. And then it, it could have stepped right here. And I wouldn't know because it's ungrown. It could have stepped right here and then it disappears. I think it jumped on top and walked over the top of the roof forest. So I, I mean, I should see footprints or something, right? In the in the leaves. I gotta come over here and look. This is very dangerous. What I'm doing, by the way, guys. This is very dangerous. If you're scared of creepy boss entities, then don't do this. Right. With leaves, it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know where it's missing. It could have stepped right right there, and I wouldn't know. Okay, I'm not so sure now. But I have a theory that it came and jumped over this and walked across the trees right here and then disappeared off in the distance where I can't see it. Okay, I'm coming back down. I'm coming back down. Okay. Do you know what's going on, guys? Do you know what creepy poss entities in my world? You guys, put it in the comments below, right? Now you get to know if you did it right. Okay. I am like 99.9% .9 convinced that Giant Alex is in this world. I think it's Giant Alex. Okay, let's piece together the evidence. My computer started to slow down. So I had to bring my view distance down. And then I switched it over to peaceful. Okay. Weird things started happening, which I couldn't explain. And then, over here, of course, I saw the footprints. Giant Alex does all of those things. But there's one piece of evidence that I'm not 100% sure about, which confuses me, okay? A couple of times, I thought I saw something big and dark in the distance. Right? Um, wouldn't I have seen Giant Alex? But it, it was really dark. I swear it was dark. And that's the piece of evidence that I'm a little bit confused about right now. I'm not 100% sure. So that's why like 0.01% of me tells me that I might be wrong. It might not be Giant Alex, but I think it's Giant Alex. Okay, this is weird. I mean... Giant Alex. I, I've experienced Giant Alex before. Okay. Okay, you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to tell you something, guys. Oh, no. Wait, wait, wait. Wait till I go to the church and then I tell you. Okay. I'll, I'll feel a lot safer if I'm in the church. Okay. So, I actually recently finished a book. Okay. And I'm actually, you know, I'm going to edit the front part of the footage for this video. And put like a little advertisement sort of thing telling you about it but I mean I did I recently wrote a book about John Alex and it's about my first experience ever sighting John Alex back in the day me and a friend named Bill well his name was different I changed his name to Bill Bill to protect him because he told me he wanted it so whatever 
um, about Giant Alex. And here I am, pretty sure that I'm experiencing Giant Alex. So this would be another experience of me coming across Giant Alex. It's been a long time. Which, in a way, is kind of cool, but I mean, it really isn't. Because Giant Alex is, is pretty scary, actually. And we're not even 100% sure everything she can do or knows. I know my experience, and I have lots of theories now about Giant Alex that I put in the book. Things that you probably don't know from what I experienced. I just burped. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I, I just burped while I was talking. But... Go read the book if you want to find out things about Giant Alex that a lot of people probably don't know. And is Giant Alex going to come get me? Going to come in here. Almost night time. I wonder if I can go to bed tonight. I don't know. There's the moon. Wait. I'm getting that feeling again. I spotted the thing that way. Giant, I think it's Giant Alex. What's that? Oh, that's a cloud. Okay, but I really feel like something over there is watching me. I don't see anything. I mean it. I mean it. I, I really feel like something over there is watching me. But I don't see anything. Wait. Let me just go take a peek at something. Alright. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll go to bed when I come back. Huh. That's weird, because I really feel like something is out there. I thought I heard something. Very quiet. Sir. Ooh. Ooh. Zoom. Something is there. Look! There it is! Oh, there it is! Look, 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 it's moving! It's moving! There is something there! But is that giant Alex? Look how dark it is. Is it just because there's not enough light on Giant Alex? Why does this look different? This is so weird. I don't get it. I do not get it. R look at this, right? Oh, wait. Wait. Where is it? Ooh, back to the church. Back to the church. Back to the church. Ooh, ooh, get in. Get in. Ooh. Ooh. Where is it? It's not there anymore. Giant Alex. Is it Giant Alex? I don't know now. I mean, everything points to it being Giant Alex in my world, but now I'm not sure. Unless Giant Alex just looks really dark in the distance. Go to bed. Go to bed. Okay. In the light, when I feel like I have a little bit more courage. I'm gonna look. Okay, I don't see anything. Come back around the corner where I first saw it. There's nothing. Okay, I'm gonna go be underneath the tree. Hold on. Oh. There's nothing. Wait. There is something. Footprints. I knew it. It was there, and then it it walked this way. Footprints. Look at this. Foot. Those are definitely. Look, see the grass hasn't even grown there yet. Definitely footprints. How far over has this come? Where's? Wait. Where's the footprints? Okay. Let me get up. 
I don't get it. Where's the footprints? There's not enough trees for it to walk on top of. And it just ends at the water. Okay, I remember my previous experience years ago that I wrote in my book. Giant Alex footprints tend to lead to water and disappear. Like, like she can swim or walk on water or swim through water or something. We don't know. But for some reason they just disappear at water. In this instance, it seems like it disappeared at water, but... This is a small puddle, so she couldn't have gone anywhere. She couldn't have gone out into the ocean and disappeared or gone down a river. So this this does not make sense at all. Come in this water. Whoa, wait a minute. I just made a discovery. Put my torch in my hand. Oh my gosh. Look at this. It's just a great big hole. I did not make this. Okay, look, you can see it, zoom. Ew, it goes down so far. Does it? Okay, this is the old one. Look at that. Does that go into the void? I can't tell if it goes into the void or if it ends, but... I can't sprint swim because it's an older version of Minecraft. It's not worth trying to go down there and find out. I don't need to. I know enough. Something big walked over here and then just created this deep hole and disappeared underground. And I keep thinking it's Giant Alex, but I mean, I haven't actually seen the Giant Alex skin. It was just really dark. And that is really, really creepy. Just glad to be back at the church now. It might actually be a good idea to dig sort of underground now, you know, just to be safer. I'm not going to put stairways and I think I'm right below the church or close there by. I'm not even 100% sure about this. You know, the thing that scares me really badly is that big hole I found underneath that, that little pond. That's what really scares me. And how did it, it, it that the, the big thing, the big giant dark figure, whatever, that I thought was giant Alex, could still be, must have made it somehow. And I'm not sure. That's why I'm not 100% sure being down on the ground is even safe. I may be better off just staying in the church, you know? There. I think that's about good enough. Let's go upstairs. Take me a lot longer because there's no stairs. Retorch it. Uh, go up there and see if anything... You know, I'll see if I can see anything in the distance or not. I might build a chest to drop some items off in. Ah, the church. Whoa, what? Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh! It's gone! Look! No! The church, look, it's just been, like, the top of it's just been ripped right off. Okay, churches aren't safe anymore after all. Wait. Oh! There it is! Footprints! Oh, and they're still fresh. The grass hasn't grown over it yet. I didn't even hear anything. There they go. Okay, I think it's off that way. Shoot. It came and destroyed the church and then took off. Okay. I'm getting in my boat. I am out of here. This looks really familiar. I think I remember that was a dead end. Home is just right over there. Oh, it's my home! Wait a minute! Zoom. No! No! No, 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 no. Shoot. Shoot. It's been destroyed. It's been destroyed. And my stuff? Is my chest still there? There's my chest. My stuff's still there. I'm gonna just drop off the junk that... I don't know, at least my chests are still here. It might leave my house alone now that it's mostly destroyed, so I might actually be well off to put stuff in the chest now. Stuff that, oh, I might need that. I might need dirt. Keep that on me, don't need that, don't need that. Keep that one wool, keep the iron. Let's take those two iron, get rid of that, and hope I'm not dead. I really feel like my house is now just toast. But then again, now that's been destroyed, maybe 
the giant dark figure, or giant Alex. Until I know for sure, I think I'll refer to as giant Alex. Maybe she won't come back and ruin it, or haunt it anymore. I might actually be safer here than anywhere else, but I'm not sure. Here's my mine shaft, right? Still here, untouched. Underground might be the other place. I, I don't understand that big hole again, but I mean, this could be down here in my mine shaft, could be one of the safer places. Down here to the lower level. I'll keep that in mind just in case. But there's something here that I'm not entirely certain about. I gotta go up here and show you uh, what I thought I saw just for a moment. Come up here, close that door. Oh. Make sure I'm safe. Okay. House destroyed. No holes for footprints. Oh, but I'm right next to a river. Well, that's weird. I don't think I noticed this. Look, the water's just missing in some of these places. That's kind of, could these could those be the footprints? Did John Alex step right there and the water disappear too? That doesn't make sense. Not one account that I've ever written this, heard, or read had John Alex causing water to disappear where she stepped. This is one piece of evidence that just does not line up. Does not match. And then the big figure I saw was dark. I don't think it's Giant Alex. You know what? I don't think Giant Al it was Giant Alex. I think this is something else completely different. It could be a... I don't know if this is an existing Creepypasta entity or a brand new one. I don't even know anymore. I'm at the point now I have no idea what's going on here. That wolf. Something has got to be watching me. I actually wonder how fast it could be on water, you know, if it does walk in water or through water. I mean, looking right there where it stepped, I almost get the impression that this giant thing walks, hits the bottom, is so heavy, and that's why you don't see it anymore, because it's so heavy it walks on the bottom. And maybe the water counterbalances the weight a little bit enough so it doesn't leave weight on the bottom anymore, and that's why you can't find footprints underwater. That's a theory I've got. But how fast can it go on water or on land? I have no idea as to the speed of this thing. And what I'm wondering here is if I need to just make sure I always keep this boat in my inventory. It could be the thing that saves me. I'm not entirely sure. I'm going to dig a tiny little hole here. Very small. Just to keep me, you know, a place to dart into if I need to. But you know what's actually better is if it comes out somewhere else. So, and made it out. Too bad I broke my... Iron pickaxe. But see, oh, let me torch this up. What this does is it gives me the opportunity to zip in one side and zip out the other. It could save me because, you know, I think I might kind of make this my temporary home for the moment. Oh, is day already coming? That's good. Uh, too much of you guys. That's good enough. Oh. I may have just seen something over there. I don't think it was the hill. Or maybe it was. Huh. Check over on this other side. Oh, coal. Do I? I have lots of coal. Well, uh, I'll, I'll mine the rest of that later. There's plenty of coal here in this area. This is a good little spot to come check. See, I, I got my exit right there. I think I need to know my my surroundings a little bit better. So if something happens and I'm chased, you know, I kind of understand where I am and where I can go. That's always a good thing. But, okay, so over there, you know, I can follow the water. 
or I can stay in the trees, or I can cut out in the open where I can see better, but I'm better to be seen. Now, unfortunately, I can't go up too fast, but I can go down faster. This is not a bad thing, though. I, I think I need to come out here and look. It'd be really good if I had a ladder coming from the top all the way down. Or even something to drop from so I could drop down and get out of here real quick. Now that might be good. That's not a bad idea, actually. Okay, I'm going to dig a hole somewhere right here. And uh, cook some iron, make a bucket, make a bucket of water. So I can drop down in the water and zip out real fast. And I'll make a tiny little outpost here temporarily. Okay, that's pretty good. And it comes just right over here. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't use the iron for a pickaxe. Well, I needed it for something else. I needed it for bucket. Oh, I have three. I can make an iron pickaxe. And we'll get water. And now I have a place to drop from up there. And I'll put one... Yeah, let's put... Just so I have a light down here. Might That might be helpful. And I think one more bucket of water, if I need it for a clutch moment, might not be such a bad idea. Now I'm going to go up to the top and build a very small little outpost. Right here, right? Yeah. Okay, so this is about right. So the whole... Wait, am I directly above? Okay, no, that's not what I want. Got to leave that there. And come here, here... Here, 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 here. I'm going to leave one block there so I can just run up against it super quick. So let's suppose that I'm up here, you know, looking around. And suddenly I see something. I can sit here and record it and watch it. And if it gets too close and I'm about to die, I can just go like this. And woohoo! Down I go and into the water. And then I have two ways to exit. And I can either turn left and go up out of the hill this way, right here. But if I happen to see it from that way and I need to go out the other way, then I can go here and I can book it out, okay? Into this area. And hopefully that'll be confusing enough that the thing can't follow me super quick. And that's what my plan is. So I'm going to go up to the top again, up around. I didn't build a ladder up. I have to I have to climb back up the hill again. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Well, not really a lot, but... Let's just come over here. Too bad, huh? This isn't too bad. And I purposely didn't want to leave any fences or anything. I want to be able to go up to the edge of the corner right here and zoom in and get a good screenshot, you know, if it happens to be closer or something. And to be able to jump off a ledge is actually very valuable. So if you're building a house and you think you might have a creep pasta problem, sometimes it's better not to have railings or something because you want to be able to escape quickly. Which is a problem if you're trying to keep something out, but if you just need to get out quick, it's better to not have something blocking you, like a fence. I'm going to come over here. Because look, the sun's coming down, going down, and here's the moon coming up. And I do have enough for one more bed. Do I want to try it? It's not a bad idea. I should see if I can go to sleep up here. It's not a bad idea. All right, my crafting table's right here. Let's torch up this place. Hopefully nothing comes while I'm doing this. I, I put these, I put breaks here just so I can see out, just in case. It's part of my survival skills right here. Creepy pasta survival skills, that is. Okay, this is the last bed, so I'm really close to that house. And at least I do know the coordinates to it, so I think I'm okay if I happen to die. I just don't want to lose my stuff. That's the sad thing. But I'm just going to see if it will let me sleep tonight. Because I didn't at the house. And I wonder if that was because the big dark thing was really close at that time when I tried to sleep. So this might be a way to find out if it's close or not, whether or not I can sleep at night on peaceful. So it's night right now. Okay, moment of truth. Here we go. Ho ho! I'm sleeping. Woohoo! Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad. Okay, um, you know what? I'm going to break you. And just keep you in my inventory for emergency purposes. Okay, maybe that's a sign that the the big dark thing isn't near me. I'm not so sure, but that's my guess. So, you know, I might need to just sit here for a while and, and see what happens. Nothing. Still nothing. This is getting really boring now all of a sudden. 
It's almost nighttime again. I'm gonna go see if I can go to sleep. It's kind of funny that I haven't seen anything. So maybe whatever it was, it's done. It left and I'm no longer in trouble. Which would be sad because that means that's the end of the video right here. But you know, I'm gonna do something right now. I'm gonna go to sleep. Yep, I'm still sleeping. So, gosh. I might be safe now, I'm not sure, but... You know, I have an idea. I think I'll stop recording and turn off my computer right now. In a couple of days, one of my friends is going to get home from his vacation. I'm actually going to invite him to come join the server with me and just see what happens. Here we are. Okay, finally back on the server. My friend should be on soon. I already brought him up to date on everything and even let him know that I'm recording this for YouTube, so... Not, oh! He is on. Okay. He's on. Whew. I'm not alone. Hey, what was it? Uh, hey, two, 200... That's for er, the this this thing where I'm at, this stone tower. So I just need him to come, and I really won't be alone, and it'll just be a nice thing. Having two eyes together is something nice. Always a nice strategy for surviving creep pastas. Always better to have someone with you, and not doing it alone. So I'm really glad that bulk. <laughs> Sometimes I can't even say it. Bulgoka Plunk will be here. Oh, oh I, I hope you don't die too. That that would be really sad if, if you died. But at least maybe you'd see something. The real shame is that his computer isn't particularly fast. He won't be recording. Doesn't really matter, I'll be recording, so I'll see most everything. This, uh, this will be okay. I'll just, just wait here for him. I wonder where he is. It's taking him a while. Oh, he must be close. He's asking about a mountain. Where's his name? Not seeing it. Oh! I see him! There he is! Oh. That means I am finally not alone. It's so good to see another player. Hi there. You finally made it up. Oh. Hi. Thanks for joining me. It's good to have you up here. And now we have our two sets of eyes doing this. And it's just so much better off. I really like his skin. I've always liked his skin. Hmm. Yes. And it's a good view too, so... I'd be really sad if nothing ever happened. I'll be honest with you, and I'm not—I'd be talking to nobody. If nothing happens from around out, then all this footage is going to get deleted when there's nothing happening. I may publish this up before, though. That's possible, Giant Alex or whatever. Because I'm thinking now that it's not Giant Alex. I'm thinking it may just be gone and we'll never know what it was. What? 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 It? Oh. I really want to push him off right now. Okay. Nope, no more jokes, yeah. Huh? Yeah, 
You want to tell me about your cat? If you want to. Hello. <sighs> Let's hear the story about a cat. Oh. Purebred. I wonder to a cat show. Huh. You know, I, I don't really know much about cats and cat shows and things like that. Uh, that's actually ought to be interesting. Okay. I wonder. No. Oh. I won't say my thought, but boring. Okay. So you both had to leave. So, oh, I hope this is not like someone stole their cat. Oh shoot, does someone steal his cat? Or his cat ran away? Oh, that's so sad. What? Someone shaved this cat while they were gone? Okay, that is really sad. I mean, I guess it's better than having your cat run away or someone take it, but... Oh, you could look at the footage. Yep, yeah, right, right there, you just said it. They reviewed the footage. Oh, then he probably caught him. Gets creepy. Okay. Right before the cat got shaved. What? Okay. You're kidding. Oh, that's weird. That's that is actually kind of creepy. I wonder Huh. I just wonder how that's even possible. Huh. Oh, I cannot explain that either. Wow. Cat has to regoats fur. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm really sorry to hear that. I mean, that's not cool. When people do things like that, that seriously makes me mad. Uh, when people like do things like that to animals, I don't. I don't think that's okay. But what's really creepy is it's like a ghost did it. How, how do you stop that from happening? The moon. I like moon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you probably need a few. Alright. Uh, I have some cobblestone. You want do you want cobblestone? Here. We pick it up. There. You might want that. Oh, good. Optifine is good. You'll you'll be glad you had it. Take some wood. Yeah. Just some things you'll wish you had. And food, of course, you don't need, because we're on peaceful. You know, you know, I need to explain something that I, I said earlier. I, I said this is a server. It is, kind of, but, I mean, I'm, I'm actually just playing a survival world for my computer, and I'm using a third-party program to host it like it were a server so my friend can join. I don't think I clarified that in the beginning. I should have. Just so you know, that's what the server is. It's not like an actual server. It's a LAN game that I'm using. I'm posting like a server. Oh, wait. You know, so I something really not show you. What? Really? Where's he looking? Looks like he's looking over there. Well, wait a minute. Where? Did he just fall down? Two 
Dude, what is he doing? I have no idea what my friend is up to. He should not have jumped down there by himself. I think I think that's where he went. Dude. What? What the? What the? What? Sorry, but Boggle Plunk cannot play in this world anymore. What? Is my friend trying to join again and he can't? That That's... That's insanity. He's just gone. Do I have to play this alone again? Okay, so I just talked to my friend, and he told me that yes, he was trying to join, and that was the server kept telling him he could not join because of that, what it said, you know. And I'm alone again. Okay, that, that's just so weird. Okay, never mind, I'm not gonna have a friend here after all. I have to do this alone. But he saw it down around the house. You know, I think I'm going to be a little bit smarter than him. He probably didn't know, you know, how to be smart. To stay away out of view distance. I'm going to sneak down there and be a little bit smarter than he was. Here we go. Oh! i got to be more careful. Okay. Going this way. Down around the house. Not seeing anything yet. Okay, he, he probably just jumped right on the open where he could be seen. I'm going to sneak around the corner and F5 it. See, that was his big mistake, I think. Okay, I'm not seeing, so I'm looking up here in the corner. That's what I'm trying to do. Nothing. I'm gonna sneak over to the other side and look. Cause you never know. Okay, stay down here. Can't be seen. I don't see anything. Nothing around the house. Not so sure. Nothing on my backside. No, I don't see anything on my backside. Not sure. Here, wait. Come up here, climb up here, jump over here. Oh. Oh, meh. Yeah. Okay, never mind. I think my mind's just playing tricks on me. Hmm. Let me mine a little bit more. I'm right next to the wall. A good chance to view over here. Zoom. You know, the house actually looks completely unchanged. I you know, I don't have every block memorized that got destroyed, but I mean, I don't think it's any different. I'm not seeing anything different. Oh, I know what to do. I need to go see if I can go to bed again. I, oh, that's right! My bed. It's still on me. You know, with my friend on the server, I actually wouldn't have been able to go to bed. So... Right in the middle, I have three ways to escape. This is a good spot. No. No, 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 no. Okay, that's got to be signed that it's back. It's back. Three days later, and it's back. Shoot that. That is not good. So now I know I'm not alone. The giant thing is back. Whatever it was. Ooh! Ooh! F5. I can see, it's hard to see, but I can see it. No, wait a minute. Oh, shoot! Oh, shoot! Oh! Oh! Oh, can you see it? Zoom. There's two of them! 
One, two. There's more than one. There's more than one. Oh, there's more than one. I've never seen that. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm booking it in. Because look at these guys right here. Oh, they're gone. Oh, they're gone. Where'd they go? Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, okay. I, I gotta get up there somehow. I can either mine or sneak around. Now, remember, I built this for the reason. It, they disappeared, but they were over there, so I'm going this way. I'm trying to sneak up now. I'm totally going to show my friend this footage. Th this is enough footage to publish this video. This video is definitely getting published. No, Nothing is stopping me. <laughs> I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Oh, that, this is not comfortable. I'm shaking. It's kind of hard to move around when you're shaking. I, it's the adrenaline, I think. I've got adrenaline. So totally. Where, let me see down here. And hit that the house is over there. Okay, so I saw them standing like I don't know, like right there. I think. Where's the moon? Moon. Okay, there'll be day soon, so I'm not moving anywhere until it's daytime. Oh, thank goodness. I love the sun. Okay, I'm gonna do my F5 thing. Nothing behind me. Good. Just waiting for something to show up in the dark. Something. Somewhere. I don't even know. There's the sun. Finally. I really don't know if, if I should go out and explore down there or if I just stay up here and just wait. Uh, that tree kind of got me. For a moment I thought that tree was one of them. There's two of them. There's two of them now. I can't believe there's two of them. There's my house. This is really quite horrific. Okay, there's something I need to discuss with you guys real quick. So you know how I was thinking of this giant Alex, but this isn't now. But remember, my computer started to slow down. Uh, in my book, I discussed this one theory. Um, there are other theories I've got, but... This one specifically, because the computer slows down, right? I have a theory that when Giant Alex gets into your world, she has the ability to load chunks on her own. But because she's so big, she forces your computer to start loading a bunch of chunks where she is, and that's why your computer slows down. I think. No one can confirm that. No one has, but that's my theory. And I'm now starting to think, because I saw those two giant dark figures... They might be doing the same thing. I think that's why my computer slowed down. Why I'm smooth at low distance, but I can't, you know, it doesn't work at faster view distance. So if your computer just suddenly slows down for absolutely no reason at all, I mean, there's just no reason. Like, even if you have, like, an ultra-fast computer, ultra-fast processor, something just slows down and nothing will fix it, I mean, you've got a giant creepypasta in your world, I bet. Well, it's notably giant Alex, but now... Now I'm worried that there could be more than one entity that does that now. Not just Giant Alex. And now in my world, there's two of them. I'm going to come up the hill. I just hate that I can't see far. I and mean, then, if you were a giant creepypasta... Okay, I need to discuss this too. If you're a small creepypasta, you're small, you can hide in things real easy, but if you're a big creepypasta, I mean, you can't hide anything. You can't hide around anything. You're too big, unless you can force a view, low view distance, and then you can just hide in the fog in the distance and be completely unseen. That That's totally what's happening right now, I swear. Ultra scary. Ultra scary. And I just, you know, really hate that that's what's happening. Wait. Something is not right. Something is not right. 
Something is not right. I can just feel it. Okay, I know it now. Something is really close, I swear. Something is really close. Oh. I'm out of here. I'm booking it out of here. Oh, they were right there. Two of them. Two of them. Oh, they're up there. They're up there. Okay. I'm, I'm out of here. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. I just hate that you can't sprint swim in the old versions. Are they chasing me? I, uh, I don't know. Just remember, they can hide in the fog in the distance. Oh, there's a place to go hide right there. That's not very good. Just maybe. Oh! Oh, what the? Oh, did you see that? Oh, they're fast! They're totally fast! No! Okay, you know what? I'm going to take a chance to try to up my view distance just a tiny bit. Just see if that works. Okay, I, I can tell it's a little bit slower, but I'm still doing all right. My computer slowed down just a little bit, but you know I, I can handle this. So at least now I can see a little bit further. But I don't, you know, I might receive a huge drop if I go any further. Oh, mountains! I don't know if that's good or bad. This looks like a good place to go. I think I'm gonna try to climb up right here and get to the top, just where I can see better. Any cobblestone? Get rid of that. I'm disobeying one of my creepy pasta rules. Don't build with cobblestone or something that's out of the ordinary where something could spot that it's artificial. Build with something like dirt so it's hard to tell. Or something, if you're going up against stone, make sure you have stone with you so it looks like it fits when you're mounting or you're going up a mountain. Because that's, that's what's a good idea. Oh. What the? Why am I so... Oh, I'm glitching like crazy right now. Oh my gosh! That's why! That's why I suddenly started glitching! Look out! There's so many of them! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh. Oh, it just crashed. It, well, what's it saying? I only got 15 seconds to... Well, I can't do this in 15 seconds. Oh, oh, all the stuff in the directory is already gone. It only gave me 15 seconds. I mean, that's not near enough time. Okay. Guys, uh, if you see giants, dark figures, or something in your world in the distance, just delete your world right away and be done with it.